is working as assistant director animal disease intelligence unit tiruvannamalai he is passionate in field level clinical diagnostic approaches to solve many livestock health issues he is master in disease investigation especially during epidemics he attended many disease outbreaks he got thousands of livestock disease documentations he is expert in narrating field level diagnostic approaches now i request dr raman to deliver his lecture ellorum input irukka ninaipaduve allamal veronda riyen paraparame adults most of them are married whenever your spouse calls you without taking your phone how many times you realize it's your spouse calling you by intuition anybody adavadhu tamil la solranaka unga phone adikke ring pannudhu adu edukkuradhukku munnadiye ethri maara unga wife da ungala koopidranga appdin theriyum eh everybody knows right congress the eh the problem enna na i have seen people the phone will be ringing he will be taking out and he will be looking after like this and he will definitely an angel or devil after knowing that he will answer the call hello to his wife what's going on i definitely don't know eh and uh, another thing can anybody communicated with me a subconscious mind subconscious mind eh huh? <laughs> anybody try it Hmm? Anybody try to you know, speak in the subconscious mind? Yes, you can do that very simply. But only thing is you must be attentive or uh, somewhat in the same wavelength. Now, why I am speaking all these things, you know? This is the very basis for communicating with the animals. Without these qualities, definitely you cannot communicate with the animals what i mean by communicating with the animals you are not going to ask anything to the animal or the animal is not going to answer you but each and every animal in some way is communicating some messages to us right when uh, our friend i thought he was a surgery man he took class as a medical professor hmm? when he showed some photos in uh, acute or very acute cases of acidosis that would be severe sankar nai where other what other thing you noticed anybody this is what communicating with the animal what other sign you have noticed yes very really clearly showed that photo in the eyes 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 ah yeah, that's there another another one another one hmm? severe congestion of mucous membrane that will be there in acidosis it's a very classical thing whenever the acidosis is going more mild moderate and severe by looking at the mucous membrane you can very easily you can grade the acidosis level of acidosis in very severe cases it will be more congested okay and in treatment he has told so many things so one thing what i advise you have to go for b1 vitamin b1 is very much very much helpful in the cases of acidosis you know otherwise it will go for a polyencephalomalacia malaria with the nystagmus and all and in time b1 when you are administering b1 you have to repeat after 6 hours okay uh, next anrange yor naad irundade annaatil aar irundade ஆறு நிறைய மீன் இருந்தது மீனும் முழுகிட குளிர் இருந்தது அன்னமிட வயல் இருந்தது வயல் முழுவதும் கதிர் இருந்தது கதிர் கொத்திட கிளி வந்தது கிளிகள் பாடும் பாட்டு இருந்தது அந்நாட்டில் நிழல் இருந்தது மண் வழியில் மரம் இருந்தது மரத்தடியில் பேசி சிரித்திட நண்பர் கூட்டம் நூறு இருந்தது நல்ல மழை பெய்திருந்ததே நரகத்தி சூடில்லையே தீவட்டி கொள்ளையில்லையே தின்றது எதுவும் நஞ்சில்லையே 
அந்தங்கே ஒரு நாடு இருந்ததே அந்நாட்டில் ஆறு இருந்ததே ஆறு நிறைய மீன் இருந்ததே மீனோ முழுகிட குளிர் இருந்தது அந்த மிட வயல் இருந்ததே வயல் முழுவதும் கதிர் இருந்தது கதிர் கொத்திட கிளி வந்ததே கிளிகள் பாடும் பாட்டு இருந்தது அந்நாட்டில் நிழல் இருந்தது மண் வழியில் மரம் இருந்தது மரத்தடியில் பேசி சிரித்திட நண்பர் கூட்டம் நூறு இருந்தது நல்ல மழை பெய்திருந்தது நரகத்தி சூடில்லையே தீவட்டி கொள்ளை இல்லையே தின்றது எதுவும் நஞ்சில்லையே ஒரு வீட்டில் அடுப்பெறிந்தால் மறு வீட்டில் பசி இல்லையே ஒரு கண்ணுகள் அங்கி நிறைந்தால் ஓடி வார பலருண்டங்கே ஒரு வீட்டில் அடுப்பெறிந்தால் மறு வீட்டில் பசி இல்லையே ஒரு கண்ணுகள் அங்கி நிறைந்தால் ஓடி வார பலருண்டங்கே நாடெங்கும் மதில்கள் இல்லையே நடைவெளி இடைவெளி நூறு இருந்தது நாலு மணி பூவிருந்தது நல்லோர் சொல்லுக்கு விலை இருந்தது அன்றும் பல மதம் இருந்தது அதையும் தாண்டி அன்பிருந்தது அன்றும் பல மதம் இருந்தது அதையும் தாண்டி அன்பிருந்தது உன்னை படைத்தோன் என்னை படைத்தோன் என்றதொரு சண்டை இல்லை உன்னை படைத்தோன் என்னை படைத்தோன் என்றதொரு சண்டை இல்லை அந்நாட்டை கண்டவருண்டோ எங்கே போனது தெளிவுண்டோ அந்நாடு இறந்து போனதோ அது வெறும் ஒரு கனவானதோ அந்நாட்டை கண்டவருண்டோ எங்கே போனது தெளிவுண்டோ அந்நாடு இறந்து போனதோ அது வெறும் ஒரு கனவானதோ அன்றங்கே ஒரு நாடு இருந்ததே அந்நாட்டில் ஆறு இருந்தது ஆறு நிறைய மீன் இருந்தது மீனும் முழுகிட குளிர் இருந்தது another coming back to communicating with animal i have got 30 30 years of experience or service i never got hit by an animal how many has got a kick in your knee many of them sometimes you know how i escaped this one second communicating with the animal whenever the animal tries to kick it what will happen it will try to balance it will let give pressure on one leg and uh, kick on the other leg either way no but uh, one thing you have to look at the animal not the lady who is holding the animal's nose rope i have a friend uh, when i asked to he is uh, just asking the lady other fellow to hold the nose rope and the lady to the right side of the animal i am just watching him and he wants the lady to hold the tail also yeah man what first you are doing that i'll tell you later then what else naga nothing but it's oso <coughs> if you, anybody don't know what is oso please call me after 9 pm not today today i got an appointment with king fisher next slide <laughs> so just play this is a video what this communicates to you like you can tell upon so many things it's a very simple case of anaplasma due to severe anemia the animal is panting like this the animal is moving back and forth this what uh, i mean communicating with the animal next one and this one thank you it's a classical case of foot of in a classical case of foot of the animal will lift the leg like this just to alleviate the pain if it touches the ground right, the pain will be so severe it wants to lift the and by just seeing that we can come to a conclusion next one and anybody anybody who can try this 
what this communicates? Hmm? Nothing. The animal, the calf is sleeping. So whenever you try things, try to correlate with the, like a thing in your, when you go for a, what you call scan and all, they, they put the lost claim. Try to correlate with the clinical science. Huh? Just to say we had an examination. Next one. Another one. I am a crawling child in communicating with the animal. Okay. Who is the professor then? Just watch this video. Ibatil, or gramaturk, or periyari, ayuni mutta maha pui parte. Or yelo bodo bayi derkum, anda periyari. Yen noda, or kaluri, padi tu kundur kira, or tambi ini malai tu kundu pone. Or malai neeram. Or or pesi kundur nda bodo. Apor dia noda anda anda tambi, cellphone il pesi kundu, or kalla yedut, aha itil parandu kundur kira, or kaka awa yerinda. Anda kal kaka awa, wati, kitta anda kal pone. Aku orang orang pat tu orang ni achari mak rendah, kerana ke parak ker parah ini, ini bukan tulis yang mafi bani rigiran eh, yang ni. Anja kalat ti lantah perih orang sunnah, tumbi, orang biasa nak kaka pun ini kalal eri deh pa, seria deh apa ni. Yang ni kahdir cia rendah, biasa nak kaka, ini war tiwe, ini war kini nak keli putar. Biasa nak kaka, ni kau keli putar kiri, kalah. Nampak kahdir cia ni rti ni rti ngan, ini mana biasa nak kaka? Ya perih anja kaka ke biasa ini ni, soling ni yang ni kete. Yelu bodoh bayar deh, talalari, patkal mulu tu mulu tu betul deh. Kunci nayar anda kaka apa orang tu ambil entar. Siri nayar tu minum anda kaka, anda web pemar tu lundi beli il paranda deh. Serak virit deh. Serak itu kan nari bilir kira yerak itu lil, nan gak ayin di yerak itu lil lagi. Oru pottal ana kudisai vittu kulle irundu partal, pottal itu kan nari bil wanam ya pretty teri mo, adai pola kaka awin serak itu kul wanam teri deh. Bayar sahi vittal, yerak itu kan udira arami kium. Nih dah dua orang parak kau mudi ada, kat tre yadar tu parak kau mudi ada, unah vidai adi chella mudi ada, nir vidai adi chella mudi ada. Yana ve kunjung kunjung maha adengi. Eppuri mani dar gelak kewaya sahi vital, narak kau mudi amal, velak ki poh amal, vidt tinne yul easy cherry, ukaran de marana perke ki poh raro. Adai por dana de kaka ayam, adai poi yen tambi eri raiin. Ini dana ram. Tapi tuh de palu yur rombo de de palu mana yen de keravan paditta dillai. Kakai kuri bi engkau jadi entah barat di entah asal kamu orang teri ada, anal wal kai teri um, yer kai teri um, yer kai ye nasib pada dan wal bin aral engkau itu. Yang ini dia mani terkhal yer kai in arat tay pelengkar arghal, yer ti pergi kira arghal. This was sitting MP Madurai, Mr. Venkateshan, yes yes, Akitya Academy Awardi for his Tamil literature. Yes. This is what I told in subconscious mind. You can develop this. By this way, you can uh, have a lot of uh, information or like that. You can emulate out of the pressures of uh, life and all. Try with your spouse first and in, uh, children. Uh, that will be very useful for you. Next one. Anybody heard this word, marriage, death, or kalyana savu in Tamil? The another uh, level of uh, what, is that, what is that subconscious mind? In Kumudam, there was an article, I was an art and relator of uh, in magazines, that was in uh, 20 years back. Now, now Kumudam has become like Tere Chitra, so I am not reading this. In that book, 20 years back, one, there was an article. They put some elderly people, of uh, 8 of the generation, 80 and all, they never speak to other. That was the title. When I read the article, that uh, man has told, whenever I had thirst, my wife will be standing before me with a glass of water. Here, language is a luxury for us. This is what understanding they have, you know. The another thing is Kalyana Sahu of the Tamil, they used to get marriage death. In that it rarely happens, and I have seen, I have read three or four news reports about this. When rich family in Chennai, he was a multimillionaire, aged father, more than 80, 85. He has got uh, three children and all. The father was admitted in the hospital and he has collapsed. The mother is sitting in his room, in a puja room. The elder son is was just fearing, wondering how to deliver this news to their mother about the death of her father. But somehow, when he enters the puja room, her mother was already died. Okay, next one. Assumptions. Most of the things, entire veterinary practice, more than 90% are based on 
assumptions. We think, we assume, we have perceived things. To put it in a simple word, when uh, five uh, animals are coming to the dispensary for insemination, our attender we used to put five stars there. Because five animals have come. They might have had a desire, they might have been bellowing whether how can you assume that all those animals are fit for insemination? That's a question you know. And most of the treatments, what we are doing, we are assuming things. Sometimes we don't even use thermometer. Yeah, how costly this will be? Tell me what this could be. Next one. Anybody? Next. Correct. Next one. Next one. Next. Actually, uh, who has written these lines, I don't know. But this was told to me by Professor G. Ravi Kumar, an eminent microbiologist. He worked a lot on uh, zoonotic diseases. He worked in leptospirosis. Uh, just read this. A yeah, doctor who does not use the clinical laboratory is ill-informed. And the doctor who always depends on the clinical laboratory is inexperienced. Okay. Next one. This is the time to think beyond DOMI. The most of you has just told that when seeing those coughs, these are worm burdened, you know. But what really was the real picture, you know? All these cows seem to be important, but the reality is the dung sums of all these cows proved negative. I myself collected the samples, I myself tested in my laboratory, all were negative. Next one. Three W's. I used to always uh, tell this, I might have written so many times in my notes also. What are the three W's? What went well, number one, and what went wrong, number two. And uh, what went well, uh, what uh, means the most of the times the success may not be due to our effort. I just want to tell you a small story. When I was a fourth year student, I went to a dispensary. There was a doctor, he called me, doctor, go for a dystopia. He's gone there, he removed his shirt and all, and in those days he won't get the luxury of a gloves and all. He put some on the aisle, he inserted his hand, uh, and I thought that there was a lot of uh, fluids and all. I don't think this is a case of dystopia. But he, and then he just inserted his hand and he was something pushing and saying, that just what are you doing? Abhi? Please wait, please wait. Abhi. Sir, what are you doing? <laughs> it seems you are not uh, taking the cough, but you are pushing the cough inside. That I do. How do you know? Just he shouted at me. Sir, if you push it, pull it, you may be like this, but it's not pushing it, I think. No. Please keep quiet. He told me just, I don't know, I am the fourth year over student. I come uh, right, okay, after uh, five minutes, one day you push it that uh, ask that lady to give me two ropes, uh, you trim that, that, that uh, so many things has done. After everything, over a few ten minutes, guys, he delivered the cough. After that, really, on the day, don't you keep quiet? Why are you asking me questions in front of the farmer? How can you get money from them? <laughs> it's, it's a ego talk, it's not a dystopia. Right now. So, here, what went right? Nothing. The animal has cowed itself, you know. But uh, after that, he called me for a drink. No, no, sir. Why? You don't eat drink. Only beer. He said, if you, I ask you questions, only yes or no. Why is this? Sir? I don't want to come with you. No, sir. Why? <laughs> but I don't want to uh, book a ticket with him for the hell, you know. <laughs> but I have to tell him. I was just waiting. You have to come with me. Sir. No, no. That I want to escape from that fellow. I simply said, sorry, I'm not going to work with him. Let's go. <laughs> Just do that. Another one, what went wrong? When a thing goes wrong, myself, I have to put my name as the first culprit. I don't know something. I have done some mistake. I have missed something. I have done, I have done some wrong thing for the failure. By this way only I can learn something, you know. So in these cases, what went wrong in these cows? So these are factors influencing cow growth. What are the factors which 
influences the growth. Why are why those cows are that much in a bad condition? Number one is cholesterol feeding. I just want to tell something on cholesterol feeding. Cholesterol has to be fed within one to two hours after calving. Uh, that's a very major issue where we fail. If you take three hours or four hours, the quality of cholesterol, uh, so the, the immunity, the mother dam to the cholesterol will be getting decreased. So that's why people in villages want to, they don't, they don't uh, wash the animal or milk the animal within four hours or uh, they will milk the animal only after the fetal membrane is shut down. So usually fetal membranes will take four to five hours, you know. The idea is that in that four to five animals, the calf must be allowed to drink a ad libitum of colostrum to satisfy this need, you know. That's the basic idea. So what will you do if the dam dies at death? Calf delivered, eh? dam dies, what can you do? What alternatives you can do? Anybody? Number one, search for another dam which has cowed today, on that day. That will be more useful. That will be more useful. If that is not available, you can go for artificial cholesterol, milky egg yolk and castor oil they used to give. That's the very main thing which affects the growth of the cows. And number one, the next number two is micronutrient deficiency. We didn't care for this. Do anybody of we think of this? Whenever a cough comes, we just put a deworming without examining anything. And Madhunasa was, was telling about the acute bloat in case of amphistomasis. One case was also referred to me from Varathanada. We had a discussion. So one simple thing we can do, whenever you have a get of acute tympani, why don't you uh, check your the dung? You will get a multiple number of X amphistomates. That's very easy, very simple technique. You can do that. Okay. By doing a simple dung examination, we can rule out amphistomes. And any coughs, first thing is you have to dung sample examination, uh, we have to do that, then only you can go for this. Next slide. I don't want to read all these things just for a recording. Okay, next. Next. Next one. So, <coughs> last love uh, I met Bonandir Babu sir at the luncheon. Sir, I just want to talk to you about something. And, you know, he was so busy and didn't have that much time. I gone back. And you may be remembering I have presented a post regarding this microneurine lava. And I prepared a detailed note of this. I submitted to the director also. But after that, I sent the copy of this to the nutrition company and uh, I welcome Bhavanandar Baba sir to the dais, how we shared or how we ent ventured into the micronutrient profile study. Please come, sir. Or, or otherwise, otherwise is help. I might not have done this study. I have done an extensive study of 100 uh, cows about micronutrients. Please come on. Sorry, it's getting late. Uh, just I'll take a minute to share. <coughs> Last lava, Dr. Raman met me and he wanted to discuss something very serious about uh, uh, certain studies in uh, cough. Uh, one thing he was talking about, uh, there is no worms, but we are all doing deworming. That was his uh, bottom line. And in fact, I come to know, I have read uh, many of his uh, writings in lava, WhatsApp and all those things. And uh, I know there are a lot of followers to follow it, you know, like a uh, crime novel story and all those things. Uh, he tried his level best and all those things. In fact, uh, with the university level and his personal uh, inputs, even after that, he was not able to crack it because people are not showing much interest. Um, might be time or might be cost or uh, uh, might be infrastructure or whatever it may be. Then he asked me, uh, so why don't we try something, whether the company can help it out. Um, then generally, you know, as generally I'm sharing, as a responsible company, when somebody is uh, trying to find it out something, 
and that too on a nutritional uh, oriented uh, suspicious thought what he is having in mind it's not warm so something else then what it would be it could be with a nutritional cause uh, then i just asked him then what are all his doubts then he has written a list of uh, minerals and uh, list of uh, vitamins and uh, finally you no know, i have taken and i started to reach out all my known professors friends in the industry and even in other states and all those things um, nothing was happening in tamil nadu then finally i come to know only kerala manuthi university the department of instrumental uh, studies and science that ramanand only uh, is right now capable of doing all those testing and all uh, then we shortlisted because it's too costly each and every uh, nutrient if we are going for analysis he shortlisted a uh, couple of vitam vitamins particularly vitamin a and a couple of uh, cluster of uh, minerals then uh, we discussed with the university and made it as a package and he has taken a tremendous effort uh, to understand and to carry out in a right way uh, he selected 10 uh, blocks in his area and i hope there are 10 vas uh, were supporting uh, with the dr raman to collect the uh, serum at single time and it has to reach the university from tiruvannamalai area within 12 to 13 hours because the professor told minerals doesn't matter even for 24 hours the vitamin a it will get denatured within 13 14 hours or otherwise it has to be stored at minus 15 degree so we don't have any facility so i think so one of the pg student was supporting him in the through night he has taken all the samples and reached out to him and the university university has uh, uh, done all the profiling this thing and the outcome is really eye opener and it is really spectacular and uh, the effort what he has taken we have supported identifying the people uh, using our resources and all those things of course money is the other part that doesn't matter to a larger extent to support the industry but the interest and uh, 10 veterinarians working from that area because everybody has to fire at the same time otherwise they cannot bring out the 100 sample in a day and this all the sample serum Uh, it, it wouldn't reach the university at a time and he has collected all the data and all those things and he has done his complete uh, interpretation over that and uh, i hope very soon he may publish in the international journal also because i don't think so there is such kind of uh, field study which is very very evident and you know uh, even particularly in our tamil nadu level might be that's one of the reason i just taken out the gist and i just requested uh, the fraternity to just to think about the calf nutrition you know by now at least it is not going to happen over a month or a year uh, so many years we need to talk about and uh, we need to educate the people because changing the mindset it's not going to happen overnight so he has done a tremendous work and uh, that is one of the reason you know you would like to share that information with all of you because it is uh, done by us With, with the help of our people so uh, our uh, adau director has uh, done it and uh, because it is not picked up from anywhere it's not from a international journal or international study or international experience it's our own experience so we can thoroughly believe it and uh, any interpretation doubts and you will be always open to discuss about that so rest i will uh, leave it to him thanks for the opportunity thank you thank you pranam dr keep it there yeah, thank you the the problems we face is that when i am teaming up with a private company i have to get a permission from the adobes so first i applied for that and the god thanks to sundareshan sir and then the other rcp sir sonna mari they have to uh, they have given me 24 hours time to reach to the lab they will sanitize them so that's the problem first i wanted to do all the minerals and vitamins many constraints then what happens now i thought of doing 200 samples i cut it down to 10 blocks 10 100 samples so you know we fix it in two times first time on the five blocks 50 samples and the second time five that we have done it and another constraint is sir has told me that we are using it from the csr fund corporate social resources but you have to finish it by 313 <laughs> so that another constraint at the time of fmd vaccination and all we have done this and about the next 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 
and I will examine all the dung samples of 100 cows. Another RCP is that uh, 50 samples, blood samples will be coming from different parts of the normal district. That's a very vast district uh, to our lab. My VS has to sit behind and uh, she has to centrifuge and uh, take the serum, pack it, label it, and uh, we have to prepare thing. And I will be sitting there all the up to 7 and 8, uh, screening all the 50 dung samples and a sickle day. We have done it twice. Next one. Next. So about the just uh, farmers category, whether they are having lands, uh, green fodder feeding or not, concentrate feeding and all. Next one. Next. So the another best example, what I am telling is this is a very real study. So just think it up. We'll uh, come to the another total number of samples is 21. Only 21 strong eyes, one coccidia, one monicea, one amphistome, one trichuris, and the another 75 were negative for worms. Okay, what do you mean by this? By just looking at the animal, we are thinking of, or we have the perception to go for the worming. And another 75 animals are, doesn't have any worms in that. Okay, in the out of 25 also, only one animal has got 3 plus positive. That's a grading. Number of O was present and one has 2 plus positive. Others were stay or very stay. When it's stay or very stay, you need not deworm at all. So in this 100 samples, only two cows needed deworming. Others, you are waste of medicine and we are uh, uh, you know, wasting our medicines and uh, giving the, killing those worms which are not, which are not there. Oh, next one. Next. The test conducted were SPLC, high performance liquid chromatography for vitamin A and AS, atomic absorption spectroscopy for zinc, copper and selenium. Next one. This are the readings. I will just go to the abstract. Next. 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 So, see here, total number of 100 samples Selenium was deficient in 21, zinc was deficient in only 7, copper was deficient in 23, and vitamin A was deficient in 28 animals. So at the outset, almost uh, two-thirds of the animals, cows were normal, you know. That's what this uh, gives you. The what's the problem is, go to the next slide. So, cows are deficient in more than one element. Selenium and zinc, one selenium and copper, two selenium and vitamin A. There will be combination of things, you know, the thing. Cows are deficient at least in one micronutrient, it's 66. Out of 100, 66 cows were deficient in any one of the micronutrient. Cows are not deficient, only 34. The danger point comes next only. Cows in the lower normal range. So in everything, there was a range, you know, 0.8 to 2, or for 0.7 to, this is the lower normal range. So I just classified them, and vitamin A has got a very range, 43 nanogram to 300 nanogram. So I just calculated the range, that was deficient, normal range, higher range. In the normal range, I just classified into two halves, lower normal range, upper normal range and see the result of lower normal range. Selenium has got 6, zinc has got 4, copper is 69. 69 cows are in the lower normal range. And vitamin A another 52. Any time it may go to deficiency. If it's above normal range or in the upper category will be safe. What this indicates? Deficiency, the severe deficiency. Next one. The male female segregations. Next. So just photos. First of all, are they, are they same photos with the deficiency symptoms? Next. 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 So suggestions, I come here once again, you just concentrate on this. 
feeding cholesterol within one to two hours. I have discussed it. This is the very first point. We have to concentrate. We have to educate the farmers. Pay more concentration on this. Feeding of colostrum is the first and foremost thing for the, in the growth of the calf. 50% weightage you can give to this feeding of colostrum. Number two, milk has to be given at the rate of one tenth of body weight of calf up to six weeks of age. And nobody is doing this. Why there is six weeks of age? Is there any limitation? Why? After that, human will start developing. So, another question, uh, Madhina sir has explained well. Uh, so, take it, uh, it is a three months old calf. Ruben has well developed. Is there any necessity to give milk? Not necessary. Or otherwise, it little bit can add something. If it give more, can lead to acidosis and all. Then what we have to do? Here comes the near nutrition point. L I am very much interested in disease diagnosis all the ways in my life. But something struck me, we are, la we are losing something or we are ignoring something. The very basic thing is, after six weeks of age, whatever milk you give, it won't be used 100% to the cows. Okay, when rumen starts developing, then what has to be done? We have to go for calf replacer. We have to go for mineral calf feed. Calf feed, are we giving calf feed? Anybody? Only somebody in a very big farms. Naturally, farmers won't give. Or they will allow the calf to drink something from the dam, you know. But we have to concentrate. After one and a half months of age of the calf, we have to specifically go for calf ration, calf concentrate. So, high time the Krishi is having a cooperation also with high protein and all. This area we have to concentrate much if we want a better calf or better eef or better cow. This is a very main area we have to concentrate. Another suggestion, this one, vitamin AD3 may be injected to 1.5 million IM. Uh, that means you can go for 5 ml of vitamin AD3 injection at third, sixth and ninth months of pregnancy in pregnant animals. You can follow this. In humans, they are giving lot of weightage to the care of a pregnant woman. What we are giving? And the Tirpatur area and uh, they used to go for a progesterone injection. I don't need it. It's needed. But what other thing I can advise is, you can go for vitamin A D 3 injection, that month, six months or nine months. Why? Vitamin being a fat soluble vitamin will get stored in the liver and it can be there for three months time. It's a very better thing. Then what happens if, you, uh, if there is enough vitamin concentration in the animal, you can get something in the colostrum also, you know. That's the main idea. And uh, number two is you can go for 1 ml to 2 ml of vitamin A D 3 to the newborn calf. Nothing will happen. Or no, 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 in the first week of the calf's age, just give it. And most of the times, uh, oral medication of vitamin preparations won't be of much help. So you can try this. Next one. Good quality mineral mixture should be added in the. We whenever the most of the veterinarians or the farmers use mineral mixtures only at the time of. Repeat breeding. Whenever the animal won't conceive, then only you think of thing. So I want to ask you another question, all from Tamil Nadu maximum. We will be giving lot of tons and tons of uh, mineral mixtures to the farmers. Then why these cows are like this? What happens? What's the real problem? Uh, maybe that. Number one. We are not using it constantly. Only when the animal is reported for repeat breeding, then we will give it over one or two months. When the animal gets conceived, you just discontinue that. It's not the practice. You have to feed it regularly. We have must inculcate that practice to the farmer. Oral vitamins, we can give it to the cows. Mostly B1. And otherwise, you will get end up with the polyencephalomalacia. Overall micro mineral supplements in cows. 
that we can try. If you go for good quality mineral mixture, these things are not needed. But when you feel like it, you can go for, there is one Mintrust caplet or some companies are having something. You can go for this. And a good quality calf starter, I have told it already. Next. So before that, I am thankful to, these are all the doctors. What happened? Dr. Akuman, Rajasagar, Nirmala, Saravana Kumar, Arjunan, Muniyapan, Vangadesan, Rajeshwari, Kavita, Silambarasan, and Deepika, my own, uh, my own veterinarians. The only thing is, I have given opportunity only to these peoples. <laughs> Otherwise, all the veterinarians in my district are ready to do any work what I do. Okay. I have just given opportunity only to these peoples. And another information I have posted, I have presented this, but not this much length, eh, to the uh, SRDDL or a technical review meeting. Southern Regional Disease Diagnostic Laboratory. And uh, first I asked them, Dr. Vengadasa was there, he was retiring on that month. Eh. Uh, he was there, he just told me, I will give you only 10 minutes, Raman, you have to finish it up. So I rushed through, but one beautiful thing is, for my 10 minutes talk, there was 15 minutes interaction. And the end of the session, everybody congratulated me, but we have to do in a more, more scientific, they have to tell to me. And another question put forth was, whether you tried the treatment of these cows. What to do? Is it possible? Is it possible the, to save our, uh, these cows which are shown in the photos? Whatever treatment you give, is it possible to get them into the right plane of nutrition or a right growth as you expect in normal cows? Definitely not. Then why to do all this? When the damage is done to this extent, uh, I have tried many times with any much of medication, food, feed, etc., no way you get all these things right. Then we have to concentrate more on prevention. The idea is, I request you all to pass on this message to the farmers. The importance of cholesterol feeding, importance of uh, feed calf starter. We have to first, we have to start this. There is no thing, you know, farmer is using any calf starter in the field. We have to just email, we have to let them know, we have to educate them, we have to start that practice. By this only, we can get a very good calf. Next one. Next. Small, small video clippings. photos are from, from, from a cell phone, so not of that much good quality. After feasting on my mango trees, The idea is that the universe is for all, not for you but me. Okay. These birds, these animals, these four videos are taken in my field. They are not my food. Anything grows in the land, in the earth, is for them only. Okay. And just the universe is for all. Animals won't commit suicide. Anybody? Anybody heard that word? That's that animal had committed suicide. This animal has committed suicide. Why? Don't think, though they don't uh, think or having a thought process. A small video clipping. No element of nature has a profit motive except the human being. Birds sing. 
No bird in the world sings for a profit motive. It doesn't look for a, forget money, it doesn't even look for an audience. The bird sings whether there is an audience or not. A flower gives fragrance, no flower copyrights its fragrance. The sun gives valuable light and heat, never does the sun ask for anything in return. The whole universe functions in a spirit of yadnya except the human being. Therefore, it is that only the human being suffers from stress, from depression, from all kinds of ailments, mental and physical. Because the universe has not been created for selfishness. Wherever there is selfishness, you will be struck down. That is the law. So give it back to the nature. What can you give it back? Everybody. I used to tell everybody, first try to be human being first, then we'll think of other things. Next slide. Anybody from Tirupattur district? This is from Natrambali, the first veterinary dispensary I worked on in 1993. These trees are planted by me 30 years ago. Next one. <laughs> so what other thing you can do? You don't have any chance to plant trees and all, what other things you can do? You can, minimum use, as standards of surgery tells, minimum, use the minimum, hmm? don't waste. Use the minimal, I want to tell you another message, use the minimum of your cell phone. Hmm? Use the minimum of a tent phone. Next one, avoid wasting. Don't waste your food. And minimal use, I want to convey only one message, don't do any mangata treatment. What is mangata treatment? When the farmer calls, go with an antibiotic or analgesic antibiotic or antihistamine on pick ambulance. Whatever the ailments may be. These are the four injections I have got in my kit. I will give it, I will get the fees. Come out of all these things. Diagnose what is the disease. Use the many minimum of medicines given to the animals. Don't inject all that you have in your kit. That's the message I want to convey. And avoid wastage. That to avoid food wastage. And uh, two questions I want to ask you. What is this? Next one. Is there HS in your area? I will answer these questions in the next lava. Thank you.